Hello, welcome to Das More Wargaming. You've joined us for a very special video, and we're joined by a very special guest, Mr. Chris Peach of the Painting Phase. Thank uh, you. Very special. <laughs> yes, very special. Thank you for uh, taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us. Um, You're welcome. So a very, very, very quick video, really. Um, but um, yeah, it's just, 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 just to ask you a few, few little questions, really, uh, about yourself, about the painting phase, things like that. Um, yeah. I know that if people are interested as well, you, you have spoken quite a lot about these sort of things. Like you've got one on the painting phase, I believe, when you first sort of uh, joined, mm. you did like a video sort of about you type video yeah, yeah, uh, that yeah. went quite in depth so if anyone's interested in that i'll link that in the description go and check that out because that will cover a lot more than what what i can uh, <laughs> on here um <laughs> but yeah like i say um so you you are a part of the the painting phase the, uh, youtube channel yep that's correct um so for anyone that hasn't checked it out or doesn't know what it is yeah um what how would you describe the content that, that that's uh, created on that channel and what can people expect to find so to make a, a long story short i would refer to it as accessible paint guides mm -hmm. uh, and what i mean by that is um something that i became very aware of uh, across youtube and when i was at workshop was a lot of the guides even the battle readies could be a bit convoluted or a bit complex or not efficient or easy mm -hmm. and could put people off especially people that are getting into the hobby entry level stuff beginners people that just want to pick up a paintbrush from time to time folks like myself that are parents people at school college uni work that have like an hour or two in an evening so a lot of our paint guys were like like when i did marathi you know you needed eight hours a day for five days to get that mm -hmm. model painted and across an hour in an evening that's going to take you months right yeah so um and that's just like mid-level intermediate level painting so one of the things we wanted to do with the painting phase, the painting phase was already going before I joined. Yeah. And Pat, who uh, owns the uh, the channel, um, he was kind of like just looking at other YouTube videos and like trying to mimic and tried to learn to paint because he was very new to painting. Right. Um, and then he was like, would you mind coming along? And I was like, you know what? I wanted to change the scenery anyway. So there's yeah. a lot more to that, but uh, I wanted to change the scenery. And the, the focus of the channel really is um, guides that are accessible that are, get to a certain point and if you wish to you can continue so it's like i call it tabletop ready or tabletop level where it's like some base coats some washes real wow. minimal basing um so in an evening you could get uh, a, a, a kill team ready and mm -hmm. painted um and we've done that with a couple of sets with like some of the kill team stuff where it's like we paint one kill team and that took us like two three hours mm -hmm. uh, we paint another kill team that took us two three hours then we do the scenery which yeah. It was about an hour or two. So across a weekend, you could, in theory, get your box set painted. And that's that's kind of the purpose is easy, accessible paint guides that allow m the majority of the hobbyists who yeah. just want to get on the first few rungs of the ladder of painting. Yeah. Um, to want, just, just, just to enjoy painting. And, you know, we've had a bit of stick. Some people say you're not very good at painting, this, that, and the other. And it's like, well, it's not aimed at you. So if you are good at painting and you don't like it, that's fine. Yeah. You know, the, 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 there's so many different people out there with so many talents. Where I see us as like the first few steps, and then there's some extra bits if you want to do it. Um, yeah. But there's plenty of other paint guides out there if you want to learn how to wear a brush, if you want to learn how to do. This is it. Out. Yeah, it's it's very different. So, it's very different than what's out there. To be fair. Um, <laughs> Because everybody, uh, a lot of the videos that I, I come like come across are always showing you, you know, the best possible result you can get for a single miniature. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's great if you want to paint 60 zombies at heavy metal standard. Great. Yeah. Which, but that's not necessarily feasible. Doable. Like, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, so so it's like yeah. that, that, let's let's have another alternative um, to that, and yeah. I think yeah. I think that's a great like feature it, of, of the channel though so, um, yeah it, it's to help with the what people call the piles of potential or the piles exactly. of shame i mean i've got them i mean i've yeah. got plastics everywhere and yeah. stuff so um, if it gets things on the tabletop and you're happy with them and you're not fa i mean an opponent not facing against a plastic army is mm -hmm. can't be a bad thing right so, exactly yeah 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 exactly whatever level it's at uh, uh, so yeah in a nutshell kind of long-winded nutshell uh that's what we do uh, accessible yeah. paint guides yeah and they're great they're great videos um so i suggest anyone do go over and give a sub and uh oh, so you do thanks. you do you do like uh different levels like you have patreon as well where you can support yes. further and yeah. you offer different things through there and more in-depth things 
Um, yeah, so on Patreon, uh, we have like uh, Discord and stuff like that, but mm-hmm. also you get a lot of the videos early. Um, so we do a lot of chat videos as well, so they yeah. come out quite early because they're quite quick to edit. Um, you get behind the scenes kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Also, we, we kind of like, hey guys, we're thinking about this, you know, we want some audio for it. Would you mind giving us a couple of skits so like our um, community on Patreon? contribute oh, well, yeah. to videos as well and then i do like um feedback sessions so i, I like have uh, people can send me some photos i'll give feedback on it that's a tier and then there's like one-to-one sessions as well which oh, okay. quite expensive but it's like two hours of my time so yeah no that's, that's fair that's fair that's great so you know um it's, it feels like there's a little something for for everybody yeah, um, yeah. Uh, you know and if people can obviously support it further through patreon then obviously um, yeah, definitely yeah, do so. Don't, <laughs> yeah, don't. Um, yeah, if, if you're gonna support anywhere, go go and support the the, the painter face. Don't don't worry about me. I'm fine. So, yeah. <laughs> this is just a, this is just a muck around. Like honestly, like, I, I, support I, I, I mean that. I actually do mean that. I'm not being a uh, yeah. Too kind. <laughs> yeah. I actually mean that. Um, so yeah, um, just on to a, f- a few other other little questions. Then um, the I think are interesting for, for myself to know i don't know if you've been asked these before i mean i think one of these you have definitely have but we'll, <laughs> we'll go for it again so um obviously now that you have left gw the, cl- the clutches um yes you now can use or at least talk about now other brands and things like that um yeah. so where paints are concerned um do you have a favorite brand or top three brands of paint that you sort of Ooh. Yeah. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. I will uh, advocate Citadel mm-hmm. still quite hardly because I spent over twenty years using Citadel paints. Yeah. I'm very familiar with them. I know sometimes they get slated for being like not the best quality paints, but because I used to use them professionally for twenty plus years, yeah. you kind of know what they can do and what they can't mm-hmm. do, and you can work your paints around it. So I use Citadel a lot. The yeah. contrasts are great. I've been working, uh, we've been doing like, some stuff with like um, AK Interactive, they've been sending some stuff to use, we've got um, Army Painter as well, they've been sending us some stuff to use. Yeah. So some of their products are hit and miss, um, every paint range out there has some good things and bad things, but yeah. there's some really good paints in AK, I've been using some of their silvers and some of their like, well, mm-hmm. a bit of everything, but they've got like some really nice paints that I've used a lot. Others, I'm a bit like, it's no different really than Wild Rider Red, Yeah. that's no yeah, real different than uh, Corvus Black. Um, so there's a lot that out there that are kind of samey, but yeah. it's like some of the metallics. Vallejo uh, Air Dark um, Aluminium is weird because it's like really thin, but coats over black in one coat, and I don't get wow. it, but it's magic. Okay. Uh, Pro Acryl as well, I've been using that a fair okay. bit now. And there's uh, Bold Titanium White um, mm. is is I don't I can't get my head around it right. When I thin white down, the more I thin it down, it should be thinner. Bold Titanium White just gets thinner as in like consistency, but covers really well. Wow. And I can't get my head around it. And I'm just like, so Magic. I've got a wet pad and I'm thinning it down. It's just like, but it still covers really neat and I want to make it thinner so I can do glowies, but I can't. I need to use another paint now. Magic paint. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so there's there's a fair few. I mean, um, yeah. Army Paint have got some, some really good paints out there. There's a nice selection. They've, they've got some of their speed paints that they've got. I'm still working my way through a lot. Yeah, this yeah. Is the, the key so, thing. There's so many things out there, in there. Yeah, is, yeah. I'm it's, learning yeah, a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I've got a few good ones. So AK goods, a- Army Paint got some good ones, yeah. and Pro Acryl. Um, there we go. Are, are some good ones too. Yeah, yeah. Um, and going along with you know, some of your favourite things, um, favourite uh, tea. What what brand? Go, <laughs> just give us a brand. <laughs> There's only one. There's only one tea, and that's Auksha tea. I call it Auksha tea, I'll just say, to be able to say something. I was going to say, if it's not that, then uh, I, was kind of, I had my finger hovering over the, uh, the, the hangar button. So, yeah, um, yeah there, there, there's no other answer to that. No, um, yeah. I'm, I'm still trying to get sponsored by Yorkshire Tea. I keep yeah. like, sending a message going, hey, we do this channel. I uh, wouldn't mm. mind wearing some t shirts and get some free yeah. tea, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, so I'm, not, I'm not a massive tea drinker, but it's the only tea I would still drink. Like, so there, there you go. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, a couple of other sort of things um, that I want to sort of get your opinions on now. Ooh, um, ooh. Do you have a favourite Primark or Heresy Legion? Ooh, uh, I, I, I have two. If, oh, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I do one of each? Can I, can I do famous fav, favourite Primark and Legion? Yeah, Is of course. Like... Yeah, yeah. So it's sort of like so. and, and or yeah, no, yeah. So favourite Legion, and I think it's more down to colour choice, not 
to the fact that they get a bit weird near the end. But Empress Children, and I really like Empress Children. Uh, it's that rich sort of like purple, sort of very regal, yeah. and then the gold accents. When they get a bit funky and a bit weird, then uh, I didn't mind it. Like the the chaos stuff where it's like pink and black. I didn't, yeah. I didn't mind. That, but I really there's something about the the rich regal purple and the gold. Yeah, uh, big fan of that. So you'd think I'd be a big fan of uh, Fulcrum, but I'm not. I'm not a big fan of Fulcrum. No. Oh, he's all right. I mean, they're all right. <laughs> Weirdly, I uh, I'm a big fan of Rogal Dawn. Oh really? Uh, yeah, I think um, from like story points of view and stuff like that, um, you've got fair. all these old characters that are all like very sort of doing their own thing and stuff. And to a certain point, he is, but he literally is just like, I've just got to protect Terra. I've just got yeah. to make sure Terra's protected. Yeah. And you know, he for no like the um, flight of the Eisenstein. It was just like pure luck that. The Eisenstein and Gara and the guys come across Robo Dawn, don't they? Yeah. Uh, and he's just like, yeah, I believe you. Come on, let's get this sorted. It's just like, there's no messing around. It's like, right, okay, yeah, yeah. Now this sounds like bad things have gone down. We we need to get this sorted yeah. out. Let's let's get let's get let's get you back home, and then, uh, nice. then we'll talk a bit more. We'll talk yeah. a bit more. We'll digest this information. But now, and I like to think he's still alive because they've only found a hand. It's a bit like Peter Pettigrew, right? <laughs> so they've only found a finger. So I, I think he's still around. I think he'll yeah. come back. I think they can uh, bring anyone back, can't they? Exactly. I mean... Yeah, if Gulliman can come back. Anyone can come back. <laughs> if the lion comes back, yeah, know, I'm sure. I mean, I mean, Ferris Manus, maybe not so. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I reckon he will. Why not? Maybe. Why not? He's just the head in a jar. <laughs> But yeah, uh, that's interesting. I, I wasn't expecting that, to be fair. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> what were you expecting? I don't really know. It's just maybe, maybe like, I don't like Rogue Dawn so much, but... Um, uh, I, I just, I don't know, it's just sort of about, like, he's, yeah, I just like that he's sort of like, I'm just going to defend the... the for, I wasn't me, swear. For, for me, it's the model. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mo- mo- so... Models. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, um, I was background, I was going more down background, but yeah, models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah you're right. I mean, but every, everybody's got a different sort of thing that attracts them to something. So, yeah. you, know, you know, if it's law, it's law, that's great. Um, but yeah. what attracts you to a certain thing because of the law might be a different, you know, a different favourite if you're talking about the aesthetics of it. So, yeah. Yeah. Wh- whatever you chose is, is what you chose and your reasons. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, there's always a model out there you can convert to make it. Exactly, better. exactly. So. And um, so talking about like models now, and we're you know, strictly talking about like Games Workshop. Um, if you could have a model reimagined or brought back, what would it be? Madonna Alanti. Okay. Uh, I, that was my first character that I painted. Mm. Uh, so I got um, like when I say characters, like as in like um, special character. Mm-hmm. So um, when I was very young, we got like bits and bobs of 40k and, and Warhammer but we, re- we really got into Necromunda um, and I had Eshes, I had some Vansars, my me, me dad had some Delax and my brother had some Goliaths and stuff and uh, Orlocks as well and I think we had I think we had all of them actually I got some redemption I went mad I literally got every set nearly pretty much um, but Mad Don Rolanti was my very first uh, special character and I spent ages painting her and I've still got her. Uh, I'm very fond of the paint job. It's quite dated, obviously, for a 16, 15 year old. Um, but I love the fact that they've been doing all this stuff and they're going to bring in all these like cool characters out. I'm just like, where's Madonna Atlanta? She's mm. mega. She's yeah. mad. She's like some kind of like highborn child who's just a bit of a, a murder head. Uh, and I love it. And it's just like she just goes down to the I'm just, I'm just yeah. like, I just murder people. Um, and I think. It's, it's a mix of like, yeah, it looks like Tina Turner mixed with Madonna, obviously, uh, and other rock chicks of the era. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just something that whenever people are like, you know, who would it be? It's, either be, it's definitely going to be her. Um, and second after that, I'd love to see like, I don't know, maybe Creed okay. come back okay, um, cool. as a, a plastic Creed because we've got his daughter. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'd like to see Creed back because I was always a big fan of his like, mm. Big sort of coat like that, and yes. it's just like, you know, yeah. cigar. Big cigar. I want, yeah. I want a bigger version of that. I mean, I could convert one to be fair. You could. You could. Now, that's, that's cool choices. That's cool choices. Um, yeah, I, what I'll just just end this on, um, just a, a very, well, I don't know. This, this sort of, I don't know if you've been asked this again, but um, yeah. since you've uh, sort of, you've left GW and you've been doing the painting phase thing for a, for a little while now, I'm not sure how long it's been, yeah. but... Yeah. but um, 
How have you found it? Has there been a transition sort of for you? Is, is it weird at first? Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think um, it's easy so when you've worked for someone for so long. Uh, I still find I refer to it as we when I'm in the chats, like, you know, when we, we did this, when mm-hmm. we did that. It's, I'm, so I'm still in the we stage. Yeah. Uh, that sounds really weird. <laughs> You're in the, <laughs> we, in the stage. we stage. Yes. Uh, so I still <laughs> feel like I work for the business. Yeah. And I've been a bit, you know, critical here and there of some of the uh, things that they've done over the last couple of months. Yeah. Uh, and some people have said, you know, mm. you turn into a bit of a negative channel. I was like, no, I'm not at all. No. Um, I have opinions. I've always had opinions. I just couldn't air them because I work for No, business. I think I think the way um, you've always done it, the way that I've, and it's always, you know, it's, it's been in a very respectful way. Yeah, um, yeah, which I know, do. Yeah, that's the way it comes across to me. It's yeah. like, I mean, we always have devil advocate elements to it as well. Like, you know, let's look at it from the other point of view. Yeah. So we don't always just like go, we hate them for this and they're rubbish for that. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, you know, I mean, there must, there must be things like that you sort of have to hold in while you're there, and then when you, it, oh, yeah. it must be like ripping like the bandaid off. You know, like, yeah, you, yeah. You, I think you still, you know, it must be. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the the key thing to remember here as well is, um, I love the products i yeah. love the people um and the business itself for a long time uh looked after me and yeah. i i have very fond memories of that place and will continue to do so and that will never be marred or chair uh, uh, changed yeah. um what i will say is i still have all my mates at workshop i get on with them all still uh we yeah. talk loads and that's sometimes cool. they send me messages going i really like that chat you put out so that's really cool no one hates me there, and I don't hate them. <laughs> I just don't always agree with yeah, them. <laughs> weird, weird. There you go. Yeah, nice one. So, but yes, um, but yeah. I so say I'm, I'm hoping at some point. I, I think I have spoken to Pat. Um, I think oh, I'm yeah. trying to organise getting all of you on uh, to do oh, a, a bit of a video just to just to talk more about the painting phase as a whole. Yeah. Like, um, cool. it, it's cool speaking to you, obviously, and you know, hearing about things like you know at GW and how it was. Yeah, trans- yeah, yeah. It's, you know, that's all, always cool uh, as a Warhammer <laughs> fan. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, it's yeah, always behind cool, the but, scenes. But I, re- I really enjoying the painting phase stuff seeing all the different types of content you're doing um and i'd really like to feature like all of you guys on a video just to put out there just about the channel so um, it'll be carnage yeah, i'll tell well, you that hopefully yeah. organize that yeah okay um yeah live stream after 10 um <laughs> But no, um, yeah, no. Uh, say so once again, a bit, pretty short video, but um, yeah, it's been awesome to ask you some questions, um, and thank you for for taking the time to join us. Thank you for having me. It's been I'll, great. Yeah, I'll put all of the uh, links in the description to painting phase and some videos and all your socials and things like that. Um, so don't forget to go over and give a cheeky sub. And, uh, <laughs> doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you <laughs> just, anything. Just a click. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, so once again, thank you very much, Peachy. And uh, until next time, happy hobby, all. Oh. Bye-bye. Bye. Do you, do you want me to talk now? That's all right. I'll, 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 uh, I'll start it off somehow. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right.